Here's a quick little um, video to show you the steps for your cave art. So I've got my brown piece of paper and this is just from a grocery bag from the grocery store and I just cut it out, out of the bag. <clears throat> Crayons for this are white, black, brown, and red. You could do just outlines or you could do some shading and coloring with these if you like. The video link is National Geographic Cave Art. It is in your social studies in Google Classroom and you can watch it from there. It's also on your planner uh, for today, Friday, September 11th. So I'm going to start with the black and um, I'm just going to do a general outline because again I'm just showing you something real quick. Um, use the video though to look at the animals, pause the video and watch um, from there how they uh, do some of the, the drawings and definitely I'm not looking at it right now, I'm just trying to kind of go from memory a little bit and it's not great, but you will get the idea. <laughs> yeah, not real great, but okay. I remember it was. Something like that. And there was. Okay, not the greatest bison, but you get the idea. Okay, you can come in and do, um, they use a lot of red. So if you wanted to put a little red, it has to be crayon. It cannot be marker or colored pencil, okay? It has got to be crayon. This is a crayon resist. That's the type of artwork. I'm gonna do some different colors just so you can see the effect of some of these um, after you're done and what it looks like with the different colors of the crayons. But the wax is gonna resist the paint, okay? And you're just not, you're not using a whole lot of paint. I'll do a little bit of brown here in the center. So you can see uh, what happens to the different colors, okay? Actually, that looks kind of cool, doesn't it? Now it's not so bad. Maybe I'll put a little bit more hair on him up here. Maybe that'll help his head a little bit. Maybe another bigger eye. Maybe that's it. Maybe his eyes just, oh, there we go. Now he's looking a little bit more bison-ish, huh? Okay, so once you have your design the way you like it, then you have to take it and you have to crumple it up. This is important. You gotta really smash it down. We want lots of wrinkles. Um, that's what's going to help make it look old, like it just came right off of a cave wall. I'm going to open it up and go, oh, maybe I want some more wrinkles. So then I'm going to wrinkle it up again. Nice. Not smash it, smash it. Don't tear it, though. Be careful. You don't want to tear it. Okay, here we go. And so I'm going to open it back up. There, see all those wrinkles? It already looks older just by doing that, doesn't it? Okay, now here's where it gets a little messy. You're going to want to have a tray or a plate or a towel, maybe some paper towels. Put something underneath it to protect your surface. Surface. I'm going to take a little bit. Here's that little bit of paint I gave you. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of water in it. Doesn't take a lot. And if you have a paintbrush at home, awesome. Okay, you can use that. But um, if you don't, and I didn't give you one, I'm going to use my finger. I'll go just like this. So I get a nice watery brown. And I'm going to use this, and I'm actually going to pour some on here. And then I'm going to use my fingers, and I'm going to just slide it around. I know you're thinking, oh, she's crazy. She's going to make a mess. And I am going to make a mess. I'm going to make a big mess. That's why it's important to have. And I want to get it down in all the cracks. Okay? Smooth it out over the entire piece of paper. Move that paint around. If you need a little bit more, pour a little bit more. I don't think I do. I think I got enough. But let me try. Yeah, see, I can move this paint over there. Okay, keep it on your surface. Okay, so now it's really good and in there. And then I'm going to take another paper towel. I'll wipe my hands. I'm put it over the top, and I'm just going to blot. Give it a little blot like that. Okay, and now look. You have something that really does look uh, pretty old, like it just came off the wall of a cave. As this dries, the corners are going to want to curl. 
So it's helpful if you can put something heavy um, over the top of it. Whatever you use, like a book or something though, you're gonna wanna protect your book. So maybe get a new dry uh, paper towel or, <coughs> excuse me, the, um, or maybe just a, a rag towel from the garage or something like that. And then just put something heavy on top. And then that way it will dry uh, nice and flat. You can see I still have a lot of paint left. So I could do a lot of these. I could really experiment with the different drawings, um, the animals, the hunters, um, the sun, the people. You can really experiment with your color. You can see how it looks different. The white really shows up nicely. Um, so have some fun with it. I want one for the classroom to hang up. So if hopefully you do two or maybe even more, and then you can choose which one you want to have in the classroom and then you can keep the rest um, at home, okay? And we'll talk about how to turn these in next week. All right, I can't wait to see your designs.